Bernard. Hi, happy Wednesday, and welcome to Now, the fun show hosted by me, Curtis P. Today, we're kicking the entire show off talking about a very big topic today coming out of Pakistan. Yesterday, a 7.7 .7 magnitude earthquake struck Pakistan. At the current time, 271 people have been declared killed, and 446 others have been injured. The quake was also so large, it created a brand new island off of the coast. Yes, the brand new oval-shaped island is 60 to 70 feet above sea level, which is something a little abnormal to see happening around an earthquake but with a quake this size, it does kind of correlate together. The new island has like a rough surface because it is the seabed itself just being pushed up above the water. Though covered with a lot of sand, it does have one dangerous aspect to it. It is leaking methane gas, which if you don't know what that is, it is highly flammable, which they've already tested by actually lighting some of the gas on fire, which isn't too easy to actually put out once you've lit it on fire. But of course it is a good test to be like, is that gas flammable? At the current time, no new information about the island or or if there's like a gas pocket underneath it that's causing the methane to leak through. Though many scientists pointing to the creation of this island due to continental drift. That meaning land masses on Earth are actually continually moving. Which is why at one point in time we were a solid land mass and then we separated out into the continents we know today. Jumping into gaming news now, looks like Valve has another announcement for all of us. Yes, though they had an announcement on Monday about Steam OS. Today, they're talking more about the device that could run SteamOS. Valve has paved the way for brand new Steam machines, at least that's what they're calling them. These will be the official boxes that will run SteamOS and allow you to play games from the Steam store. Though an interesting fact about all of this, Valve has no intention to actually produce a box themselves. They're looking at different manufacturers to actually build the different boxes. These new Steam machines will start rolling out in 2014, but right now Valve does have a secret beta Steam machine that they will be releasing to 300 select people. These 300 machines will be given out to people as a beta to make sure that the machine is working properly before, of course, mass consumption. It's interesting to note that they're not going to produce their own device, they're going to let others produce them for them, which is cool because it allows for many different tiers. They're looking at three different tiers, that being good, better, and best. The good boxes will allow you to simply stream games from another computer in your home using that computer for the processing power. The better ones will be able to do kind of half and half. If it's a intense game, They'll require that other computer to do the processing. If it's a simple game, they can play it locally. And the best machine will play it all locally. It will do all of the processing, all of the hardware and software sort of stuff will all happen locally inside of the Steam machine. I think it's an interesting concept. It allows for different tiers, of course, and allows one box to be very cheap and very appealing to a mass market. But look out, this is only the second of three announcements that Valve has for this week. Yes, on Friday, they will have another announcement for all of us. Currently, rumors are pointing to the fact that they will release something that has to do with controls, because they have yet to talk about that. So if you're a big fan of Steam and Valve, well, this is pushing towards bringing that to your big screen TV in a more native format. And talking about video games, let's talk about video games being made into movies. DreamWorks and Electronic Arts have announced that Need for Speed is becoming a movie. A new trailer for the movie has been released today and Breaking Bad fans rejoice. You may notice a familiar face. Need for Speed will be hitting theaters in March of 2014 at the current time. No real other information about this, but hey, if you're a fan of Need for Speed and you're a fan of movies, they have now come together. Also, of course, a little bit of like Breaking Bad Jesse in this for all of you if you want to see that. And more video game news, because there's lots of video game news today. I don't, I don't know why. I didn't pick the news topics. Actually, I did. Anyway, South Park, the stick of truth. It actually has a release date now, which is kind of amazing. Yes, after the many setbacks, the change of development studios back and forth, Ubisoft has finally announced that on December 10th, South Park The Stick of Truth will be hitting retail stores. The brand new game designed by the creators of South Park to bring the South Park experience into your living room will be coming out on Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and the PC. Also, they've announced an $80 special collector's edition that will actually include this cool looking Cartman wizard figure, which is kind of cool. It also includes some other pieces. So an interesting game. I'm kind of looking forward to this. I think it's going to be awesome. Though, of course, it was announced like a year ago or two years ago, it's super delayed. 
but I think it's gonna be a great game. And last, in the world of YouTube, let's talk about audio on YouTube, because today, YouTube had a big announcement about all that. Audio can be traditionally a tricky subject to get on YouTube due to copyright problems and other related things, but today, YouTube has announced 150 royalty-free instrumental tracks for you to use in your videos. That's right, so if you're looking for the perfect background track, YouTube can now give it to you and be like, please make something beautiful. To which you will go and make something beautiful. I'm sure of it. You have the power. I think it's pretty cool. All of the tracks are free for download right from YouTube. They're accessible inside of your video manager panel. They're underneath the brand new creation tools. I think it's great that YouTube is giving creators this tool to actually help them out, make their videos a little bit better, thus in turn attracting more people towards those videos and making YouTube more popular. So in the end, it's a little about you and it's a lot about what YouTube kind of wants this place to turn into. But hey, it's a good step and everyone kind of benefits. All right, having talked a lot about video games today, I want to know your thoughts on video games being turned into movies, kind of like Need for Speed. Do you like the idea or have previous attempts at like turning video games into movies turned you off of the whole thing? Like you don't want to see it. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think. Also, you can let me know on my Facebook page, Twitter account, or through Google+. Links to all that and the other topics I talked about in today's episode in the description down below. Check out all of the links down there. Tons of fun links. Of course, if you enjoyed today's show, why not hit that like button, subscribe, and maybe even share the show with your friends. Until tomorrow, I'm Curtis Parody, and that's what's happening now.